Palmetto Mountain Man. Checking lines this morning at a different pond. Uh, yesterday was my first set. I put out uh, three 330 Connor Bears and two number five Bridgers on drowning rigs. What it is is a overgrown irrigation pond that beaver have come in and backed up. The uh, farmer come in here and pushed a row through this green briar and through the lodge that they had here. As you can see right there is where the tractor come through. He called me and said, uh, need you to get over here as soon as you can. Uh, planting season's right around the corner. I gotta get irrigation pumps in here again. They moved in. He had no idea. Uh, but I just wanted to show this. Uh, beavers chew down trees. They chew down trees to chew off the bark. They chew off the bark to eat the cambium. That's the white layer that's underneath the bark itself. But keep in mind, beavers are 100% vegetarians. The reason I'm saying that and showing you that is that farmer come in here with a tractor and he cut and, uh, or pushed in here. But what I'm showing you is the beavers are literally coming up and cutting paths, chewing paths, through the green briar to get over to some of these sweet gums that they're laying down and dragging in the water. Well, uh, the water winds through these willows into some sweet gums on the far side. Uh, I set a blind uh, 330 over there, uh, no lure. I put a dive stick over the top of the 330 because I it was fresh chews. I knew they were coming that direction. Well, it was a 330 there, and I made a caster mound right here. That's a, a chew that was available to me. Picked it up, laid it beside the caster mound, took a stick and made small marks, almost as if you were to take a fork and do the same thing. I used to carry a little plastic fork in my trapping bucket. But anyhow, I just use a, a stick, works the same. Number five bridger is right there in about six inches of water. I had that one over the 330. I had this one. We're gonna walk back around. Like I said, this is what is left of the, the lodge. It's caved in, it's uh, no new chews at all. Uh, so yesterday when I did some scouting around the new lodge is directly in front of me on the other side I hope to take further video show you better at a later date But uh, there are tunnels going in and out, but it has a mushy mushy bottom to it So I know they're not being used at one time. They were climbing up right through here and chewing on the uh, green briar They're not doing that anymore But as we go around third trap I had was this number five bridger on this caster mound. Uh, the caster mounds is a uh, Dobbins backbreaker. I live in the south, South Carolina. Different trap, uh, different lures and baits work better in different parts of the country. So I'm not going to say that X or Y brand isn't as good, but I can and will say Dobbins backbreaker is the best caster lure that I've used. This right here is a mound of dirt that was built up over time or maybe when they were clearing it out at an earlier date. What I did is I put a 330 underneath that dive stick, stuck the stick into the side of that mound and put some caster on top of it. The, uh, the reasoning behind it is it's a mound. Uh, I've got a wind that's going from uh, this direction toward the lodge itself. So uh, what I want to do is put caster on that dive stick that's above the trap. And what a beaver will do when it cannot locate or trying to locate a smell, it'll swim completely around this trying to find where that smell is. Well, when they see a stick like this, they dive. My 330 is right there waiting on them. I also have a 330 
further down the edge in some thick, thick cockle burr. Uh, it gives your waders hell. There, there's no, no doubt about it. But anyhow, those are the five traps I had. One down that way, one underneath this dive stick, two caster mounds, and one that uh, uh, over there going to the sweet gums. Uh, I set those five traps yesterday afternoon and uh, did pretty good. Had five traps, had four beaver. And believe it or not, the two smallest beaver, 15, maybe 20 pounds, those are the two that I caught on the caster mounds. The two larger ones are the ones that I caught. I caught one underneath it in that 330, and I caught one on the far side. The only trap that didn't get touched was on the far end, and I'm fine with that because the wind was taking the scent directly to the lodge straight across. I have no problem. Five traps, four beaver. Question is, is, is there another lodge further down that I don't know about? We'll find out. Uh, tomorrow I'm bringing the kayak in here. I'll paddle to them. It don't matter to me. I'll get them one way or another. But just giving you an update on how the trapping season is going, I cannot tell you how many beaver I've caught. Uh, it's not bragging, but unless I go back and count on the calendar, I really don't know. But uh, anyhow, just giving you an update. Trapping season ends and I don't know. Uh, well, March 1st, so I guess seven days from now. But uh, talk to y'all later.